Hey guys and welcome back to Pappy English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today I'm in the city of L'Aquila in Italy. We're going to explore the city and I'm going to teach you English. So let's go. This is L'Aquila. The city's name means the eagle and you had better watch this lesson with an eagle eye because L'Aquila has a fascinating story to tell. If you watch with an eagle eye, it means you observe something closely and pay attention to every detail. This city, built on a hill, surrounded by the Apennine mountain range, is rich in history, culture and character. So welcome to L'Aquila and let's learn English. So first of all, let's check out this incredible monument, the Fountain of 99 Spouts, or in Italian, la Fontana delle 99 Canele. The spouts are the things that shoot out water and each of the 99 spouts has a unique masked face. But why the number 99? Well, this is shrouded in mystery. If something is shrouded in mystery, it means it's full of mystery. However, there is a legend that people from 99 villages surrounding L'Aquila came here to build the city. So perhaps this sheds some light on why the number 99 is so synonymous with the city of L'Aquila. To shed some light on something means to help explain something, to give us a greater idea of why something might be. The founders of the city of L'Aquila were said to have built 99 churches, 99 squares and 99 fountains making L'Aquila truly the city of the number 99. Next, we're going to see the immense Fort Espanolo or the Spanish Fortress. If something is immense, it means it's extremely large and great. The fortress was commissioned by King Charles V in the 16th century when Aquila was an important place along the trading route for the Kingdom of Naples. The huge Spanish fort stands at the peak of the city of L'Aquila. That means it's located at the highest point of the city. And inside there is an enormous mammoth skeleton estimated to be around 1 million years old. And it was unearthed just outside the city in 1954. If something is unearthed, it means it's found by digging into the ground. So now let's dig a little further into L'Aquila's history and learn about its tragic past. The city of L'Aquila has always been prone to earthquakes. If a city is prone to something happening, it means it's at risk of something happening. And the last earthquake happened here on the 6th of April 2009, causing devastation in the city of L'Aquila. The earthquake caused severe damage to the city's infrastructure. That's the basic physical structures of the city, such as buildings, roads and power supplies. Tragically, it also led to a death toll of 308 people. The death toll is the total number of deaths resulting from a particular cause. 13 years later, and L'Aquila is still recovering from the tragic event. Many cranes can be seen around the city as L'Aquila's buildings are restored. Now we're going to see where L'Aquila's historic streets lead me next, and that's L'Aquila's famous Torrone di Nerzia. This is a sweet nougat made with chocolate and hazelnuts. The people of L'Aquila debate whether the Sorelle or Fretelli brand of Torrone di Nerzia is best. I'm going to sit on the fence and tell you I like both of them the same. If you sit on the fence, it means you avoid making a choice. I don't want to get into any argument here. Finally, I'm going to show you the beautiful Basilica di Santa Maria di Colomaggio with its stunning rose window. This church was built in the 13th century by Peter of Morone, who was a hermit. Now, a hermit is somebody who lives in isolation, but a strange twist of fate made Peter of Morone the Pope. Now, a twist of faith means a sudden change in somebody's destiny, a change in something that they weren't expecting. Peter of Morone was crowned Pope Celestine V. The hermit pope was then made Saint Peter Celestine in 1317 and its relics were brought to the church in 1327. 
So there we go, that's the captivating city of L'Aquila. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So there we go, that's L'Aquila, a city rich in history, culture and character. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next?